name's Marge, I'm a Hilcom, an empath, and I just like to do these little talks on how I feel about things, my beliefs, my alignments, sometimes I share in my timelines, all that means is I am just a storyteller. That is all that that means. People use freaking words to fluff things up, fluffers. Anyway, <laughs> then they reinvent the words and put the words on different definitions and then so you can't use one word like I just did with one group because it means something to another. I don't really like to let people put definitions to words on the words that I'm saying, so I'm pretty painstaking about being clear. I really don't like when people put words in my mouth and try and tell me how to feel and how I should feel. And I really, on the same side of that, or on the other side of that, try not to tell people how they feel, but recognize their emotions in them at the times that I felt them in me and relating from them at that point. Maybe not at that present moment. Because sometimes I'm not feeling that low in that present moment so instead of taking myself down to relate to them I can just go to my emotional library sh sh roller deck sh 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 oh there it is yeah you know but I get you know what we can do is energetic sources cooperation is nature's way sometimes you gotta add sometimes you gotta subtract my brother did tell me he said that too, by the way, and I can't remember. I haven't spoken to him in quite a while. Uh, today, and I did make notes and I left the page open, but then the wireless went out. See, the astrology, I listened to Rick, R-I-K is astrology. and I see where it's, you know, you always got to take the good and leave the rest, man. Ain't nothing ever 100%, you know? Take what aligns with you and leave the rest. That's July 1. Thought that was today. Anyway, so it's fiery. Things are fiery. Today's the first quarter moon. The first quarter of the moon is, is all partially lit up in the sky. And as soon as I said that, I, op I just went, bloop, opened up right to the page I needed. Divine timing, yah yah. Anyway, it's also my first quarter birthday, incidentally. Mm. Well, I'm not going to talk too much about the astrology because th I just like to recommend people that I freaking am alignment with and Rick's no nonsense. And it's just clear cut, you know? It tells it how it is. It shows you that it goes day by day for the next week, kind of explains the energies of the potential how things can be doesn't mean it doesn't work out that way but just like you know if you know that the potential is something that can happen are you gonna really be like freaking shock and awe really as much i don't know i like to know i sometimes i'll read the end of the book too i'm not a big reader i think about too many other things it's hard for me to focus i can it's just not fun for me so <laughs> i should rather do things that are fun I still get plenty of information though, don't you worry about that. Today's July 9th, 9th, 2019. 7-9, 2019. Sometimes you need to draw from your inner power, sometimes you gotta draw from your outer power. You know? Uh, I, there's a Vedic astrologer I like, I talked about him a couple days ago and I've been listening to his and, uh, he and his, uh, one of his teachers' interpretations of K2 as they travel through the houses. And, and according to Heidi, I have K2 in my sixth house. Now, this is Vedic astrology. Now, <laughs> this is kind of interesting because, um, okay, so what I found out is I listened to both of their interpretations twice so that I could be extra clear. <laughs> Because I didn't really like it the first time around what I heard. So I wanted to be sure, you know. Because I ain't trying to play no victim, but that didn't sound like it was the best news either. <laughs> so I put a but in there that should have been just a comma. Anyway, 
I'm real particular about how I word things too. Cause people, people, people are so deliberate. They pretend like, oh, did I do that? Yeah, you did. Oh, did I say that? Oh, I didn't mean it that way. Yeah, all these things, you know, that's what causes a lot of this disdain in life is because a lot of these people are saying these things and just acting like they don't mean it. And they do. You just fess up. Just to, even if you're the sound like you're the biggest jerk in the world, speak your freaking truth. It's your truth, you know. Even if it goes against everybody, you know. Don't be a liar. Just, people need to stop hiding. It's just God. It's freaking done and over and just boring. Who? Anybody will go have a best friend and just, or just someone's just like, oh my God, they're a liar and I love them so much and my whole, they're just the biggest liar and I just love them. They just, oh, I just, they add so much. You don't hear words like that because liars don't play that role in society. Yet, so many liars are freaking all over up in high, you see, people call it society. I call it freaking greed, <laughs> you know, greed. The higher up in economic status, greed. You got you got a high level in greed, y'all. Congratulations, you you up there, you up there. Spirits down here, but you up there, y'all, in your greed, floating around in the greed tree that you cut down to sell for profits. It's all right, it's all coming down. Um, but yeah, there's times in your astrology and your charts that you gotta go withdraw within and draw from your own your own. Uh, your own knowing see but evidently k2 in your sixth house as i interpret it as it is in my chart it's like i just i just took and took and took and took and took and took and so all the things that people accuse me of being in this incarnation i was in last incarnation or if in incarnations before and i've had opportunities to not be selfish and not greedy and i didn't take it and i just took and took and took so guess what happened I built up all this karma and I'm getting it back. I've got it back. I think I don't know like the level and the in the exchange rate and all that stuff for karma, but you know, I've been diligent of clearing the ray, the wreckage of my past. I don't drink. You know, I'm not even drinking coffee today because I know that the city is right out I can feel them running rumbling their big machines because they're repaving the street the street and they and they're and the lady they're like the lady and people drive so fast down the street the lady's like oh i'm so excited that they're paving i'm like those speed bumps are the only things that kept them slowing down you know but hey i don't have kids so if one of these kids all i can just you know i do is something happens to one of your kids access that memory bank of when my dog died and then i can relate to you in that pain there i guess but it's just easier to get out of a problem I, maybe hopefully i told them when they redid that bridge to put an undulation in there but what do i know so, but now the time the astrology is telling us that we got to draw, it's not, for me, I got to, I got to draw without, and I got to go without, and I got to plug into an external source, and that's, that's the belief system that, that the level of good and, and love, which, the level of love, which is the highest vibration of all, is raising on this, on this, on this, on earth, and, um, I got to believe it, I have to. It's just how it is for me. So I was listening, so I was reading that, or um, I started to talk about, either that is the longest, longest to start out. It was a good day, Ice Cube. I wonder if it's on repeat. Technology is so freaking glitchy. I'm just like, I start to post something on, um, like I'll take pictures of what I'm doing on YouTube and I'll post it on Instagram under Snap Knacks and Third Eye Activated with three eyes um and it'll spin out for like a while and i'll have to set my device down and then let it load and then pick it up and then go back to doing what i'm doing it's very very inconvenient <laughs> um so before i started doing the draw thing oh the astrology k2 in my sixth house so I started bringing up back all this karma, right? I started drawing back, or I paid back all this karma. It also, one of the, what it made me think of is also, and I also looked up, is the stories of Achilles in Greek mythology. And evidently he was a baby, he's a mama's boy, I don't know. He, his mom dipped him in some sort of freaking river or something to keep him safe in his life. But she grabbed him by the ankle, so that part didn't get doused. 
So it left exposed. So later on in his life, he was in a war and it shot him through that ankle. And that's how he died. That's the Achilles heel in a nut, in the shell of a nut. And so uh, my Achilles heel in this incarnation, I find out. And it's our, I mean, it's professed all the time. I don't, because it's been my reality, I'm not afraid if I freaking put this information out there that people are going to use it against me because people have always used it against me. So what's another day? Anyway, my Achilles heel, I don't know who my friends are. You see? Because I didn't know how to love myself for so long is that sometimes people that don't love themselves slip by. And people aren't good friends when they don't love themselves. They just aren't. It's just how it is. I wasn't a good friend when I didn't love myself. I, was, I am a much better friend when I love myself. And I'm just looking for those that will allow me. In close proximity. It's hard to do stuff over interwebs. I get the frustration. But I'm wearing, I'm wearing my In Hopes of shirt today. Herburst, California Herburst. I'm not really big. I like bears. I'm not really big on Publix. So I just take the good and leave the rest. Anyway, got it at San Francisco. One of those bins, like you get three for twenty. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so um, that's, I don't know who my real friends are, and it's been tried and it's been true. It's like I just, and I do it to myself as I get so excited, and that's that was the imbalance in me is I put all my effort. You know, I just want to hang out with them. I just want to do everything with them. I just give them all of me, you know. This, that's a lot. I come on strong. People have always said, Marge, you have a strong personality. You're a strong person. You're a strong woman. I'm like, what does that mean? What does that mean? And then it occurred to me one day, <laughs> as I'm like standing at the checkout line, the freaking gazillionth one that's going, oh, I'm sorry, my system just froze as I stand there and going, yeah, I hear this all the time, going, oh, it's my magnetic personality. See, like attracts like, and I don't, it took me a long time to figure out the vibration of evil through, like, like on uh, Men in Black, when they're doing the, the drill, and he's doing the shoot em up, and who is the biggest threat? What kind of little girl belongs in this environment at that time of night? She was the biggest threat, you know? That's the thing, is finding that vibration in people, but now I find it. And I'm still, I'm not 100%, I'm going to make mistakes, because people are freaking good at freaking, some people are good at lying, you know. Some people are better at lying than I am at, tell, at seeking out the truth. <laughs> it's just how it is. Um, so, and the funny the part about the whole, the funniest part about the whole thing, I just made this connection right now, and I could tear up. I'm excited about it. Because my brother's Virgo. We don't really understand each other real well. Or I don't understand him, and he doesn't understand me it, from my interpretation. It, it's just how it is. It's not that we don't try. It's just like frustration. It's like, you know, always trying to come at it from a different angle, and all of our angles are off kind of a thing. So, but the coolest part about, the thing about finding out that I got K2 in my sixth house is the sixth house is in Virgo. So that's how I could relate to him. So now, knowing this information that I have about my astrology, I can relate to him and his. So maybe now I can come up with a way to come to him, as him, with him, on common ground. And that is the rad part about astrology. Hey ya, uh, yeah ya, yeah. do things different. It's in the stars. Now's the time. Whatever you've done before, it doesn't work anymore. If it makes you sad, if it causes pain, it's in balance. Do it different. Now, when someone comes into my life, I give them an opportunity, an exchange, you know. So, today's, I'm trying to stay quiet, because I got a fine example right now, the rumbling outside. And they're going to be out there all week, 
and and I and and one thing I I had a trigger and I and I got to do it different because the the wire the internet stopped and I my my thought went they hit something and I went from zero to there and I, and I put it I put an outcome on the end like I tell my like I tell people not to do I put and then I went. I reset the router. I put up, started a movie for mom to just keep the noise from drowning out because I have the big speakers on for surround sound and I have the fans on because the dogs are upset. And um, I did it different and I didn't react. I started a video and here we are. I hope you have a rad day. Peace.